So speaking of RJ, let's, let's go to RJ next, man. Uh, what's your take on RJ Barrett? I, I feel like he's another one that's the opinions on him are quite polarizing, not just with Knicks fans, but just overall college basketball fans and, yeah, and what he people, can really be, man. Ahead, people, are calling him a, people are calling him the second coming of uh, Tim Hardaway Jr. Yeah, I've seen I've seen Tim Hardaway. I've seen Kobe. I've I've seen the spectrum, Spencer. <laughs> I've seen it, yeah. man. Wait, wait, I've uh, seen T Mac. Uh, Somebody said T Mac. You know, I was talking to one of my friends a few days ago, and he actually brought up Dion Waiters, which was a comparison I hadn't heard before. And like in terms of strengths and weaknesses, it's it's interesting to think about. Um, but the way I see it, like RJ has the Kobe mindset without the Kobe skill set, mm-hmm. uh, which is why his efficiency is low it's it's why he's you know he's taking on three guys at the rim instead of kicking it to the strong side corner where someone's open um but like if you want an engine for an inefficient offense and something should be said for that because not many people have that ability i do think rj can do that like i think he'll get his 25 points on you know 53 percent true shooting kind of like what Melo did and not really provide much else which is kind of unfortunate because mm. i mean he's skilled like he can pass he can defend when he wants to um the shot is definitely a giant question mark but like if he's drafted somewhere where he's given the reins day one that i don't think that's going to turn out very well um mm. but if he goes to i mean there's really no chance he ends up in san antonio but san antonio is probably the one place i'd love to see him just because like Popovich and his ability to really get every ounce out of every player and mm-hmm. play to their strengths. Um, kind of like how he has the Rosen playing right now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I mean, I've heard that comparison also, um, but DeRozan was a better jump shooter coming out of college mm. and his form was much more translatable. Like he was able to pull up quickly from the mid range and like, he definitely wasn't the passer that RJ is now. RJ is probably, I mean, he, he's well, far, far ahead of where uh, DeRozan was as a rookie. And basically, DeRozan right now, he's definitely improved as a passer, but if RJ can, can have that that upward trend that DeRozan has, he can be a very, very good passer in the NBA, but does he want to be the very good passer? Yeah. He likes shooting. Like, he likes shooting a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, especially, I, I mean, I, I see him forcing a lot, especially the, the Carolina game, just watching the Carolina game. a lot. He, he, he does make a lot of forced shots. But then there's other times, like the NC State game, where he flashes some ability, man. Mm-hmm. So I guess yeah, it, it just depends on what he wants to be on, on a given game. Yeah, it, like the, the, the uh, NC State game. That was the triple-double game, right? Triple-double game, yeah. Yeah, so that game, I made a quick video about that, and – like the reason he were making on offense, if he was making on offense, they weren't super special. But when the double team came high, instead of attacking it, he'd kick it to someone and they get the shot. So he's making the smart pass. Right. So when you watch that game, then you compare that to what he did against UNC night and day. Like he was driving on three or four defenders with guys standing wide open. And the NC State game, like, he has that ability to do that consistently. It's it's pretty simple. When the double team comes, you kick it. But the fact that it's he's only really done it once this entire year makes me think that that was more of, you know, a flash in the pan versus mm. a consistent thing. I mean, you got like the size. You know, he's he's listed as six 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 seven. Mm-hmm. Um, as you said, man, can be a willing passer, but ha- having just gotten rid of Tim Hardaway Jr., who's uh, I guess similar similar style game. It's not hard for Dick's fans to accept. I see some people saying he's a chuck. Uh, Easy Win says he isn't selfish. Um, yeah, like, like I said, man, the, the opinions are, are very sporadic with RJ, man. Very yeah, sporadic. Yeah, there's people who say they want RJ over Zion, which seems insane to me. Uh, yeah, I absolutely. People say that on Twitter, and I'm, like, pulling back my fingertips, so I'm not typing anything. Yeah. Like, I'm just – you guys can think that. I'm not – no. <laughs> no, no, no. Tell how you really feel. Don't, don't, <laughs> you, know, you don't gotta be polite. You know, this is <laughs> you tell them how it is, I man. Mean, tell I, them they're crazy. Tell them they're crazy. Yeah, like Z- Zion is to AD what basically RJ is to Michael Kid Gilchrist. Like the drop off between one and two is massive. Mm. <laughs> it's it doesn't scary like the average around the same amount of points and Zion takes far far less shots. Yeah, uh, Wasserman, John Wasserman, he yeah. had a tweet, and it was like, I think RJ, I think he, he made two fewer shots or something like that on like an extra hundred and something attempts. 
I mean, that's crazy. Really? Like, yeah. Yeah, man. Zion's number one, guys. <laughs> Zion is it's number not get, one. It's not <laughs> too crazy and overthink this. Yeah. <laughs> I feel I feel like people go the other way because they're tired of the of the hype train. It's like yeah. you just want to pick somebody else because this guy's been in the spotlight for so long. But Zion's number one. Let's yeah. just get that out the way. And then, you know, number two, three, four, we can bait that over. It's just, the question <laughs> is, can we get there, man? Can we, yeah, can get, we there? get there? Well, time like, will tell, man. Time will tell. I don't know what you guys think because I, when I see Zion defensively, it's like Draymond Green on steroids. And that's what I said. I, mm-hmm. I said his you know, defense is, is I, more to like me than, than his athleticism. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that, that to me, I'm like, at the very least, he's going to score 15 points by accident. Right. Just from getting to the line and easy okay. dunks. 